So this is one of the most common questions that we get is how to use a heart rate monitor. Now we found one of the easiest and affordable ways to track heart rate during exercise and during training is to use a Bluetooth heart rate monitor and connect that Bluetooth heart rate monitor to your phone. So we use a Wahoo Bluetooth heart rate monitor. So this is a standard Wahoo, probably costs around 40 pounds, something like that. You can get versions um, that are upgraded to this that do a little bit extra for about 60, 65 pounds, that's a ticker X. We also recommend the Polar H10 or the Polar OH1 as well. Now, the best app we found to monitor heart rate is Polar Beat. Um, Wahoo do their own app, but we've, we found it's very easy to use both on iOS and Android. You can see your heart rate in real time. You can set your, your training zones on there. And so you can look at the key metrics, such as how much time you're spending in the red zone. So these are really easy um, to, to put on your athlete. The most important thing is that you place it around mid sternum and then have your athlete swivel around. And then if you just hold that in place there, pull that around and then it just clips in. There's just two little clips that, that fasten together. And the Wahoo belts are really nice because they will flash blue when they're transmitting um, and red. So you can see, and you probably can't pick this up on the cameras, but they are flashing now, showing that they are connected. And then it's just a case then of connecting that to the heart rate monitor. And we'll demonstrate that during the session. Another really easy thing to do on Polar Beat is to set up the heart rate monitor so it's transmitting via Bluetooth. To do that, you go to settings, heart rate sensor, and if you have Bluetooth enabled, then it will search for the heart rate monitor that's in the closest location. We have two um, found sensors at the moment. We've got loads lying around the, the gym. Um, so we're gonna choose the one that Danny's wearing and just click pair. That will pair. And once we've done that, we can then set our athlete settings. So on here, uh, we can go to, why do we need to go to here? Profile settings. And we can set up the date of birth, height, weight, body mass in there, and set, crucially, heart rate max. One of the most convenient things about Polar Beat for us is that zone five, which is what we call the red zone, is actually set up at 90% heart rate max. So it's really, really easy when you set your maximum heart rate to see when you're hitting the red zone. So Danny's heart rate max here is 190, and it means when we come to visualize the session, we can see how much time he's spending in the red zone and when he's in the red zone. And then it's just a case of toggling back, going to training, and what you should find now is you can see resting heart rate. Danny stood up at the moment. We've actually just done a session. So his heart rate is a little bit elevated for resting. And what you might find is it's probably around 70 to 80 beats per minute, something like that. If you're, you're just about to start your session and you've just done a little bit of a warm up, as we can see, Danny's is about hundred at the moment. And then you can select the different profile. Um, so normally we're indoor treadmill running. So that's the setting that we're going to select and then click start and then we can begin the session. What we can see, what's really, really useful for us is a heart rate trace with our heart rate zones um, neatly presented on the app so that we can see when Danny is in the different zones, whether he's in the blue zone or the green zone or the red zone, and we can adjust the intensity that he's running at dependent upon his heart rate response. We can also see the accumulated time in each different zone as well. So when we know that we've got targets to hit, certain time targets in the red zone, we might need to tailor the session, cut the session, you know, or do something a little bit differently just to make sure that we're optimizing the session based upon his heart rate responses. And that's it. And let the session run, monitor the heart rate and make adjustments accordingly. So what we can see now is Danny's heart rate is increasing fairly rapidly because we've just done a session. I mean, he's only been doing a minute's worth of running. Speed's probably about 20 kilometers an hour, something like that.
and you can see he's just about creeping up to it. He's inside his red zone there and he's hit 171 beats per minute. You know, we can use that as a gauge, an intensity gauge, and we can look at you know, how much time he's spending in the red zone and how we need to manipulate the speed and the duration to ensure that that is optimal for the particular session that we're doing.